Today I'm going to show you guys a vehicle customization resource that serves as a complete replacement for the discontinued QB Customs. I'll leave a link to the resource and creator in the description. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description, and once we're here, the first thing we're going to install is the dependency. So I go here, and we're going to download this one. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources. And then we're just going to drag this in. Okay, then we're going to go back to the resource, hit the green code and download zip. And once it's done, we're going to do the same thing, open it up and open our server resources. Oop. And then drag this in. Then we're going to rename it and remove the main from the end. Next, we'll go to our server CFG and ensure the resource. We're also going to ensure Oxlib up here. Then we're going to hit File and Save. Next, we'll look at the config and see some of the options. I'll also be showing you how to create a new location. Okay, so the first thing in here are the zones. These are commented out and they're set for specific MLOs. The ones under that are the default locations. Everything else in here is just the mods you can do and the colors and such. There's not much we need to change here. Once we get into the server, I will show you how to add a new location. Once you're in the server, you'll see the default locations are on the map. Once you're in the spot where you want to create the new location, we're going to go to the config. We're going to copy this one. Hit enter and paste. And then we're going to go back into the server and we're going to type zone space poly and it'll bring up this menu for you. So I'm using WAS and D to move these. Okay, and once you're done, we're going to hit enter and then I'm going to name it new shop. We're going to go into Oxlib, into Created Zones, and you should see the one you just created here. What we're going to do is copy these, go back to the config, and replace them. Then we'll hit File and Save, and you can restart your server or the resource. Okay, we're back, and as you can see, the blip for the shop I created is here now. So we'll go ahead and drive in. You can use the mouse and drag around to move the camera, scroll to zoom in and out to look at performance. It also shows you the price for each tier down there. Okay, so we've done whatever that was. That'll be all for this video. If this helps you out, please leave a like and a sub. If you have any suggestions or need help, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.